In the earlier video, we have seen how to find the uh, expected mean square for a fixed effect model. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find it for a mixed effect. For example, one random factor and then two fixed factors uh, experiment. So the ground rule zero is write everything, all notations, and then uh, subscript. So effects, first column variance second column third column the subscripts for all the effects for example for a b type uh, i j and then for these columns write the factors uh, a b c and also the replication for factor type uh, type um, whatever factor type it is it a b fixed and then make c random you can make either one random i'm just giving c um, as an example random variable and a b c for the fixed variable and write down all the levels a b c and for replication n and of course the um, experimental error or repl replication they are random now their level subscript i j k like that and then have a column for mini square and a column for f statistics rule number one is to if this row subscript does not contain the column then type whatever that level or replication is so for example this j row subscript j does not contain i so type a here now row subscript j does not contain k so type c here similarly this is how this table is create, created you can always go back to the first video series of this expected mean square to see some details now if it's a next nested factor or a dead subscript like this then you type one 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 if it matches and then go this one you type zero if the row contains row subset contains the column in this case it does in this case it does and if it fixed factor then type zero if it's a random factor then type one for random factor type one now i is not random it doesn't have to be if at least one random because c is random ac is also random too bc is random abc is random if you have just one factor random that makes the whole effect random so this piece is random this is random this is random so anything if it contains any of this subscript instead of zero you write um, one even though you have the column fixed so if it's just one random then you write one like that the next rule is to multiply all of these so multiply this variance column and then this uh, this column this one this one this one so if you multiply all of them that's zero if you multiply this beta square times a times zero now we have to mask this so if you want to find bc for example we have to mask this bc or delete bc delete all of these so we're trying to find the expected meaning square whatever you're trying to find out in this case we are trying to find out um, bc so this basically just mask those we don't see uh, this uh, stuff so basically multiply uh, for to get uh, a this expected mean square this variance times this time this so in this case for ac for example you multiply sigma square ac times one times n so that's how this n s e square comes and then to get the uh, bc expected mean square what you have to do is you're going to add so to find the ems expected mean square for bc you're going to add all of them that has both bc so we got bc in there bc in there and bc in there so first three is actually the expected mean square for bc so sigma square plus n sigma square abc plus a n sigma square bc like that so we got that in the next uh, from rule five so basically add all of them that contains both bc together not just one if i can go back um, you can see this did not come because it doesn't have c only b this one has only c no b so both has to be there 
now we can get the rest of the tables like that so that's it about the mix effect one fixed 